Hi all, welcome to my channel GCP Data Engineering. This is another video on Cloud Data Proc. Okay. So in this video, we will see while creating Data Proc cluster, how we can install additional components like Jupyter Notebook. Okay. There are many more additional components we can install, but in this video, we will concentrate on how to install Jupyter Notebook. And also we will see how we can interact with Data Proc cluster using Jupyter Notebook. Right. In this video, we will we will see a demo, so a particular use case where I'll try to read data from BigQuery and we'll perform some transformation and also data aggregation. So then we'll try to write the process data into GCS. It okay? This is the use case. Okay. So let us try to understand. Okay, what is this Jupyter notebook? So this is a web-based open source tool which is available to perform interactive computing across all the programming languages like python php and r usually in combination with python jupyter notebook it widely used across the industry to perform data analysis data preparation for machine learning models so on and so forth okay so coming to our data proc cluster right while creating that cluster we can install all these additional components optional components right so in this video we will see how we are going to install our jupyter notebook and also we can install uh, other components like anaconda right so hbase there are many more components we can install but we will see them in a different video but in this video we'll concentrate on jupyter notebook okay okay in this demo we will see we will create a cluster while creating cluster okay We'll try to install Jupyter Notebook and also along with the Jupyter Notebook, we are also trying to install BigQuery Connector for PySpark. Once this cluster is created, this Jupyter Notebook is available through web interface. There will be some web link is provided in the Cloud Data Proc section, right? You have to click on that. Once you click on that, then Jupyter Notebook will be enabled. Once we have this notebook available, right? We'll, we'll try to run a PySpark job which will read data from Google BigQuery or from public data set table. Then we'll perform series of transformation and data aggregation, right? Then we'll try to write the presented data into Google Cloud storage, okay? Okay, now let us quickly go to the demo. Let us quickly go to our GCP console, okay? Okay, this is my command which I'm going to use to create cluster and also uh, to install our optional component like Jupyter Notebook and also uh, we'll try to install BigQuery Connector. So we have seen this uh, step, right? Uh, this task, how to install this BigQuery Connector and the data per cluster in our previous videos. Okay, right? So before going to, uh, before running this command, let me go to my data proc uh, right window so first of all we'll we'll see right how we can install right i'm not going to uh, exactly create data proc cluster using gcp control but i'll i'll try to show you how we can uh, install this additional components using gcp console while creating cluster okay so let us go to click on this create cluster okay Click on this and give some name demo cluster. So it's up to you. Uh, you have to select region and zone. This I've already shown you in my previous video. Okay. So I will try to provide that link with the description of this video. Okay. So standard one master n workers. Okay. Uh, then here it is so here we have optional components to install while creating cluster anaconda okay and here if you select jupyter notebook they, this will get installed okay so next configure nodes anyway right so here you will have to and select n1 standard to let me select 100 okay and then worker nodes standard 2 so let us select primary disk size is 50 okay 
so let us keep remaining things as it is let go let us go to the customize cluster page so right if you have to provide some network tag you can provide that okay so okay so cluster here initialization action so because as part of this demo node we are also trying to install bigquery connector okay right so that can be installed using this particular option you can have that bigquery connector that script and everything in a in a this is bucket path and you can mention that bucket path over here this is where you'll have to mention all your initialization steps or actions okay next manage security let us allow api to access remaining gcp resources that's it now you can go and click on create this will create the cluster along with jupyter notebook install and also if you specify that initialization step to create or install bigquery character for PySpark, then it will create that cluster now there is one more option also if you want that equivalent cli commands for this configuration this is the way you have to uh, copy these commands right just click on this then you will get it so i've done the same thing i just copied it and just formatted this so this is what uh, we, the command which is going to create the data product cluster and also jupyter notebook and also it's going to install our bigquery connector by spark bigquery connector on, on the cluster okay just see so this is a bucket i've, I've just uh, specified this bucket to store its staging data and also we will will try to store uh, our code and also we'll try to store our notebooks because once you have that jupyter notebook enabled uh, you'll be writing some code right so it will be stored in the form of notebook so those notebooks will be stored into this pcs bucket we are going to create this cluster in the region this is the zone and this is my master node type and one standard two and the disk size number of workers two and this is the worker node right this is the optional component and you will have to also select this option to enable the component gateway because all these are available through web interface right in order to enable that web, in, web interface and in order to access this jupyter notebook this should be enabled enable component gateway so scopes and then tags right this is my bigquery character initialization actions okay now let me create this cluster right it will take three to four minutes okay let me go to command line okay enter now it will create cluster along with jupyter notebook and bigquery connect okay let us wait yeah now you can see the cluster is created okay now let us go to the data product cluster uh, console okay uh, all right so go back now you should see some cluster is already running this is a cluster which we have created right now click on this cluster name now you can see so monitoring page jobs and we are interested in this one sorry web interfaces right uh, in the vm instances you can see one master and two worker nodes click on web interfaces now you can see these are the extra components or optional components which uh, are available to install and data product cluster but we have installed jupyter notebook already in the data product cluster so we can use one of this option jupyter and jupyter lab so jupyter lab is the next generation of the jupyter notebook so which will fix many other issues which are related to jupyter but as part of this demo we are going to use jupyter notebook just click on this web link now it should open a jupyter notebook okay you can see gcp so it's gonna use uh so as part of this project we have this data pro cluster now uh, you can see you can store your notebooks either in your local disk right that is data pro cluster local disk or gcs bucket but i would like to store my notebooks as in, in gcs bucket and inside gcs bucket because 
I would like to reuse those notebooks. Once I, if I would like to delete the cluster, I, I would like to retain those notebooks for different purposes for future requirements, right? So I have to uh, separate compute and storage, right? Here. So let me use GCS bucket, okay? Right? Now I'm into my GCS bucket. This is that bucket. So it's going to, to create some notebook. It, it, it will be stored here in this GCS bucket, okay? Now, let me go to uh, this notebook here you can see click on this new now you can create a notebook right which, which is of of any type right you can run PySpur jobs you can write python 3 you can write or so like that there are many options available but i would like to use PySpur. let me select that right now it will open up that notebook where you can run your PySpur commands right so it is untitled let us give some name PySpark demo rename now so this is interactive in nature right so let us see if we can write some simple python command right hello right just to run this command just click click on here now you can see a simple python uh, program to print some string right now I would like to uh, basically read data from my BigQuery and then perform some transformation and aggregation then write the data into my GCS bucket so for that I've already uh, written some program for that let me try to explain that program high level right this is that program you can see this is simple PySpur program right so i've just in, initiated spark session then i'm using bucket to store my staging data right so this is i'm just trying to read some public data set that is covid19 open data from my bigquery so it has 26 million records in it okay so then once i read that data into this particular data frame or rdd right then I'm trying to perform aggregations and also hard sorting, right? So for that I'm using Spark SQL, right? You can see here, based on the country name and year, I'm aggregating the confirmed cases deceased and cumulative confirmed cumulative deceased. Then I'm also performing sorting, right? So this is our SQL, right? Once I have the result, I'm trying to write those result into this GCS packet, right? So this will be this data will be stored into this GCS packet and into this folder. So if you once this folder is created, so you can see there are many files available in CSV format, which will have this resultant data. Okay. I hope you understand. Uh, you understood this script. Let me run this script. Paste this script into Jupyter notebook and run this okay right test see the interface how nicely it is looking right so so using uh, Jupyter notebook as i already mentioned you can perform interactive computing right using python or r you can uh, uh, basically analyze the data you can prepare the data for machine learning model even you can plot uh, the data to visualize it right so there are many options available. We have many libraries available within the Python as well to plot that, that right, as per your requirement. So this is the uh, PySpark job. You can see this is going to read data from this particular table. It's a public data set available in the BigQuery. Now I'll perform this aggregation, then write the data into my GCS packet. So for that, just run this script, okay? So it will take some time to run because this particular table has 26 million records, right? It will take some significant time to complete this action or process, okay? Once this is done, you should be able to see your resultant data into this GCS bucket within this folder. This folder will be automatically created once this script is successfully ran. Okay, so 
yeah we'll have to wait till that time you can see here there is an indication it is running stage 0 all right so okay so meanwhile we'll also we'll see so you can also install anaconda anaconda is a uh, distribution uh, framework available right for python or r uh, for scientific data processing right you can also install anaconda on top of data prof cluster so usually uh, having jupyter notebook on top of data prof cluster uh, so will provide so many advantages right you can uh, basically create machine learning models on top of your data pack cluster here here itself using this jupyter notebook you can perform interactive analysis right uh, for data science so scientific uh, you can you can plot the data for visualization and everything right now it look like it is completed uh, now we'll have to go to our dcs bucket and see whether that data is available or not okay now you can see I have my notebook stored here in the notebooks folder. Go to Jupyter. You can see one PySpark demo notebook is available. Okay. Now go back to your bucket. Here you should see this folder is created. Right. You can see there are so many partition files available which are having that resulting data. Now click on this. This will get downloaded to your local machine. Just to open this right now you should see that resulting data okay see okay this is aggregated data country wise aggregated data country wise year wise aggregated data okay i hope you got this concept you understood it clearly this is how uh, you can uh, install right jupyter notebook on top of data plus test